Hey guys, my mathematicians, how are you guys? I'm hoping that you guys just got off of doing our reading assignment and now we're moving on to doing our math assignment. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. <laughs> this is the second time that I have done this and you can see I taped over the answers that I wrote on my um, page because I didn't record the first time that I did it. So I made a mistake. We all make mistakes. We're all trying to learn um, in this new way of technology. So um, yes, it is silly, Mrs. Lindley. I know that I make lots of mistakes. Here they are. I already did this, but I didn't record, so there was no point. Um, anyways, we're back. I'm back. Hopefully this time it's recording and I can get everything in here that I wanted to, to teach you guys. Okay, so we are going to get started. We're going to do just a little review of graphing, and then I'm going to teach you one new thing about graphing, um, and then I'll have an assignment for you that you can go do um, on your own on Dojo. All right, so there was a friend, and he his name was Sam, and he asked his friends, which animal do they like better? Do you like elephants or bears better? And here is what his friends said. Okay, here was their answers. So I want you to look at this graph and I want you to think about what his friends, um, which animal his friends liked. So I'm looking at this graph and I see that it looks like more of his friends liked elephants than bears. It looks like less people liked bears than elephants. So let's look at our first question then. How many people chose elephants? I'll give you a minute to count that. Okay, let's count it together. Let's see how many friends chose elephants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven friends chose elephants. Oh, there it is. Take this off. 11 friends chose elephants. Awesome. That's a lot of people. Okay, the next question says, how many people chose bears? So go ahead and count how many people chose bears. Not counting the red that's up here. Don't count those. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven of his friends chose bears. So we were right. More friends chose elephants than bears and less friends chose bears than elephants. And we know that because seven is less than 11. Okay, let's move on to our next question. How many people answered the survey? So I drew a little bubble around this word survey. A survey is a question that someone wants people to answer. So um, this survey, the question was, Sam asked his friends, do you like elephants or bears better? So the survey was to find out if his friends like elephants or bears. And so we want to know how many people answered that question of, do you like elephants or bears better? So a survey is a question that people answer. So how many people answered the survey? Well, all of these people answered the survey because they told him they liked elephants. And all of these people answered the survey because they told Sam that they like bears. So that means I need to add both elephants and bears together to figure out how many people answered the survey. So we know 11 friends chose elephants and seven friends chose bears. So all we're doing we're adding those two together. So I'm gonna do a little shortcut here, and if you at home want to count on with me and practice that, uh, you can. So I know there are 11 elephants, so I can just say 11 and count on 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So how many people answered the survey? Ding, ding, ding. 18 friends answered Sam's survey. Awesome. 
Okay, now here's where I'm going to teach you just something new. Some of you may already know this from doing um, lessons on Dreambox, and some of you may still need to practice, and that's okay. Um, our next question is asking us how many more people chose elephants than bears? Okay, so we said that at the beginning that there are more people that chose elephants than bears, but we want to know how many more. So here's what I did, and I already drew on here because my last time I thought that I was recording and I wasn't. Okay, I'm going to find where elephants and bears, where they are the same, and then I'm going to draw a line so you guys can see that. I see right here, they're the same. They each have a partner. They have someone next to them. That means they're the same, they're the same, they're the same. But then once I go to this one, there isn't a partner, a black X partner for it. So I'm gonna draw a red line where they are the same. Did you see how I did that? Okay. And then now I can see that this, that elephants, all of these X's up here, these are more than over here because there's nothing over here. So I'm just going to count those extra X's to see how many more elephants has than bears. Because right now, if I do this, they're the same. But when I go like this, they're, this one has more. So I wanna count the extra that elephants has that bears does not have. One, two, three, Four. So, how many more people chose elephants than bears? Four. Four more people like elephants than bears. Okay? Another way that you could do this is, we know that bears has seven. How many does bears need to be the same as elephants? Well, I can count the blank spaces. One, two, three, four. So bears needs four more to be the same as elephants. So that's how we know that elephants has four more than bears. All right, and then our last question is kind of the same as this one we just did, except we're switching and we're doing fewer. And we know fewer means less. It means subtracting. It means counting backwards. Okay, so how many fewer people chose bears than elephants? Well, we can see that bears has less, it has fewer. But we want to know how many fewer. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do the same thing. We're gonna find where they are the same, and then we are gonna count how many does bears need to be the same as elephants. Or you can think of it as how many do I need to take away from elephants to be the same as bears. So I need to take away one, two, three, and four for elephants to be the same as bears. So I would say that bears, sorry, bears is four fewer than elephants. Another way that you could do this is you could count backwards. You could start at 11, because we know there's 11 elephants, and you could count back 11 uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, and stop at 7 because that's how many bears there are, and we see that that is 4. So how many fewer people chose bears than elephants? It's the same, 4. Elephants has 4 more, and bears has 4 fewer. Cool, awesome. All right, so that was my quick little lesson for you guys today. Your job now is to jump on over to Joe Dojo and under portfolios, I have an assignment for you and it's called throwing snowballs. So there is a problem there for you about throwing snowballs. I know it's not snowy outside, but that was the problem that I had. So go ahead and give that a shot and then I'll see you guys back